Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and in this video we're going to implement crypto payment gateway code Cryptomos into our Python applications. So what is Cryptomos? Basically, it's an application that allows you to get paid in crypto by multiple ways with multiple multiple different cryptos. So it's a very great payment gateway and in that video we're going to implement it into a simple Telegram bot. So we're going to use the API and I'm going to explain how all that works so you can implement it to your e-commerce websites, to your retail, to anything that you want. First thing that you need to do is go to Cryptomos website, link down below and you add a register so i'm not going to do that because i'm already registered and go to dashboard so here is your dashboard and you have three types of wallets here the first wallet is your personal wallet so it's kind of like um the wallet that you have for your personal needs you can use it as a simple wallet uh, just like a uh, metamask or other applications that are for crypto but uh, you can also use it to just receive money or send money to other wallets in our crypto system the next wallet is called business wallet and business wallet is the most important wallet there is because you're going to accept all the transactions using a business wallet so it's basically like your uh, main wallet that is going to have all the money that your clients send you and also you have a p2p trade wallet so cryptomos allows you to exchange currency using peer-to-peer -peer. so you basically don't have a third party you just exchange with person just straight away so imagine me and you and you exchange with me straight away that is a p2p trade wallet and okay so once again what you have here is p2p wallet business wallet and personal wallet i have nothing in my personal wallet right now but in business wallet i have one transaction which was uh, successful so this one is just uh, a test and uh, what you need for a business wallet is a merchant so basically merchant is your application as you can see i have two applications here one is hack it so that's my uh, service that's a business that i'm trying to run and the next one is test telegram so basically what you're going to do is press on plus because you're not going to have your merchants and write a merchant name so let's say i'm going to write something like application my ecom my e-commerce application we're going to create a merchant oh yeah we can only contain underscores my ecom and uh, yeah our merchant is here we go to setup and it's really easy to set up so you can either choose a website or a telegram bot i chose a telegram bot and the uh, crypto most people will contact you to just to do all the verification so you get verified and then you have your merchant i'm not going to verify my ecom right now i'm going to delete it oh yeah i need to factor notification let's do it later so i don't waste your time but i'm going to go to my test telegram and as you can see here i already have some invoices so three of them were not paid i was just testing them one is still pending and the other one is paid and one thing that i want to focus on is auto convert so what is auto convert whenever you run a crypto business and if you have ever gotten paid in crypto you know what i'm talking about whenever you run a business that uh, so your clients pay you in crypto it doesn't matter what business you run you hate when you get money in crypto because let's say i get uh, 10 bitcoin right i get or one bitcoin the price can fluctuate a lot and what you have here and i really like that feature is auto convert so let's say if someone pays me in bitcoin what i can do is convert it to usdt so if someone pays me in bitcoin i convert it to usdt straight away and of course i need to turn on auto convert also they have zero commission which is pretty cool but auto convert is a really 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 cool feature that the other gateways do not have so for now let's set up auto convert for matic for this video i'm going to use matic so polygon and let's set up auto convert from Matic to USDT. Okay, we are going to turn it on. Okay, it's on now. And uh, what I want to tell you about um, the fees, because I started talking about fees, they're not that high. It's 0.4% um, per transaction. And one cool thing is that your customer pays the fees. So whenever you work with crypto, you always have to think about fees, especially in platforms like Ethereum or Bitcoin. Your customer pays the fees, so you just receive the whole amount. One thing that is pretty cool, you can add your own coins. So I'm not going to do that because I don't have my own coin, but you can add your own coins, which is pretty cool so if you want to get paid in something else then you can add uh, your coin here yeah also pretty cool they have lots of uh, currencies but um, i mean most of you are probably going to get paid in usdt i'm talking a lot but uh, i just want to show you all the features so you know what you're dealing with before we start uh, talking about the code because code is really easy like integration is really easy so i just want to have something in this video so one thing that i really like is that uh, in your personal wallet what you can do is convert as well conversion is pretty good so you don't have to transfer it to other platforms and uh, you just can, can convert it from here so from BNB, for example, to USDT. And you convert like uh, 10 BNBs or 120 BNBs. Of course, I don't have them, but you have um, cryptocurrency staking as well, by the way. So you can stake your cryptocurrency right here, which is pretty cool. And you can choose validators. Also pretty cool because lots of platforms that allow you to stake uh, cryptocurrency can only use one validators. For BUSD and BNB, of course, it's only one validator. Also, there are other things like uh, pretty fast transactions. So we're going to see it when I pay for my invoice. But now let's go to our business wallet and finally connect it to our application. So what you're going to do is go to your uh, for example test telegram and go to settings open settings and here you're gonna have your um, api integration so for me i already have my merchant as active because don't forget we have merchants right we create merchants to work with different applications and what i have here is a merchant which is uh, active so you're either gonna 
be on moderation or you're going to be active or rejected if your application is not uh, ready or something else happens. So what you need is this payment API key. You can use payout API key, but I have not generated it yet because I didn't use any payout uh, API yet. And uh, of course, there are other cool things like payment accuracy is also pretty good. You can say that your client can underpay you 5%, which is pretty good. And um, this thing is really, really awesome for uh, conversions on the client side. So if your client uh, has some different conversion rate, you can do an underpayment of like 0 0.5, 1.5% and everything is going to be fine from the client. And of course, you can choose different exchanges rates. I just use Binance. It's the best. And um, yeah, there are discounts, all this cool stuff. Shopify integration. If you're doing e-commerce, I talked a lot, but let's start with the API. Let's go to API documentation on the upper corner. And here you have all the methods. You have PHP SDK, you have other modules. And um, what I want to do is just use a simple API with Python. So here is my API. Here's my whole code. And what my code does, let me show you. I run it. I go to Telegram and I say, I already checked it. I say start and I get a new Cryptomus invoice. So I go here and I need to pay 0.5 dollars in one hour and I can select the currency. So let's say I select and uh, I can use uh, Polygon ERC20. So I can use Polygon, which is I can also use Solana and other currencies, but I need to pay 0.5 dollars. Of course, it shows me how much that uh, is in math, but I'm not going to pay it now because I'm going to pay it later and show you how the program works. Um, so what is this program? Let's say that someone buys uh, some stuff from our Telegram bot. What we do is we write star and then our program creates an invoice using the Cryptomos API. I stopped it, but we create an invoice using Cryptomos API. API and we check for that invoice uh, status. So let's see how the whole API works. The first thing that we have is our bot. So I'm using Iogram in order to connect my bot and um, I have a lot of videos on Iogram so you can watch them in order to get familiar with it. But it's really simple. So what we have is DB message and if our command is start, so we write slash start. What we do is we go to that by hand. And what I do here is I use create invoice function which goes to this Cryptomus URL. So it's just a payment URL and I have invoice data. So amount, currency and order ID which is uh, a generated user. UUID for. You can use anything as order ID, but I think that the UUIDs are fine for most programmers. Also, you have um, other settings, but I'm not going to show them to you because I don't really have to um, like set up all the settings. I can just use what I have already. But let's go to payments and you have all the things here. So creating an invoice and amount, order ID, URL success, URL callback. Those things are really cool, by the way. So a lot of um, gateways do not have URLs. So if you have a successful thing, you have a URL. So what I want to do is create my invoice. Let's go to this function. So I show you how it works. Works. So you have URL and invoice data. So whenever you use Cryptomos API, you have a very interesting system of uh, working with that API. So what you're doing is you're doing this thing, base64 in code. So you do JSON dumps. So uh, you kind of like converting your whole data. So your invoice data, like 0.5 hours, all that into JSON. Then you convert it to base64. And then if you look at encoded data, we sign it using MD5 hash, convert our Cryptomos API key. So we have our API key. And by the way, you can find that code in the description. So you convert our Cryptomos API key and encoded data. We merge it together and we get our MD5 hash. And I think that signature is kind of like a check that uh, everything is right within our data. So once again, what we have here is create invoice function, which just makes the request. I do encoded data and I use AO HTTP to open my client session. I say that my merchant ID is this, but you can probably move it to settings as I did with my Cryptomos API key. It's just a variable inside of my settings file. I'm not going to show it to you because if you know my API key, you can do a lot of bad stuff. I mean, that's for every platform. Never show your API keys. Same goes for Telegram. I just have my bot token right here. So it's just a variable within that settings.py file. But what you do is you do that um, signature with MD5 hash and you send it in headers with your merchant ID. Merchant ID can be found on uh, merchant. So let's go to our dashboard. We go to our merchant, which is test telegram. And in the uh, side of settings, you can find our merchant ID, which is A to B, 03, all that stuff. Here it is. So we just copy it and use merchant and sign headers. Then we open a session. So it's um, Python code. We do session post with our data. And if something's not okay, we return an error. Yeah, if something is not okay, if your data is not okay, you're going to have an error or otherwise we return JSON. And basically what we do here is we sign our data, we sign the transaction and we send it to Cryptomos. And then it's going to send us um, a lot of data. But one important thing is our link. I want to use that link in order to show it um, for the client so client can open it and pay for the invoice. And uh, also what we do inside of our buy handler, so we create our invoice, also create a task. We 
we create a syncio task it's kind of like a background task that runs and checks if our invoice is paid for or not you can use a better method which is called webhook but uh, if you want i can show it in the other video so another video on how to use webhook and how to properly use uh, payments so you don't have a lot of those functions that just check your invoices if you want you can leave a comment saying i need a video on webhooks with uh, cryptomus and i'm gonna make another video we make a request on cryptomus saying find information about the payment with this uid and it's basically id of our invoice that we sent to the client if the client has paid for the invoice payment status changes to either paid or paid over so if the client transfers like um, ten thousand dollars but we need only 100 the status is going to be paid over so it's pretty cool that you can um, kind of like distinguish those yeah the invoice is paid so we just sent a message to the client otherwise we print invoice is not paid for yet and uh, we also have a sync your slip just to not make a request every millisecond so basically we just check if the invoice is paid for within that function and also what we have is um, message answer which just sends your invoice so here's your invoice result URL. so once again what we do create invoice we get our uid get it to check invoice paid function and to also get our url and send it to our client let's on our program and let's see okay we already have our invoice because i wrote uh, the old stars function so here is your invoice so here we have it we can select the currency what i'm gonna select is matic and uh, i'm gonna pay okay i have this wallet so we just uh, scan the qr code we can connect to the wallet connect but i have a uh, metamask so i'm gonna use that so i use metamask i copy the wallet to this wallet and how much do i need to send 0 0.8 let's go here oh we can just write 0 0.5 usdt or let's actually send one dollar so we can see that overpaid status so we send one dollar to this address let's press next and now all we have to do is wait for this transaction to be finished. So we wait and uh, crypto was waits for that transaction to be finished. If we go to our dashboard, we're not going to see anything yet because the transaction is not finished. Okay, so the invoice was paid for. And one thing that I received is the invoice is paid. Thank you. So as you can see, okay, check invoice paid function work. And our invoice is paid for here. So payment is paid. Everything's fine. We have our transaction ID. So the transaction that I sent. And now let's go to our wallet. If I refresh my page with all the invoices, I can see that this invoice is paid for. Paid with an overpayment. Let's go to my business wallet. I have one point. 56 dollars but what you can also do instead of invoice you can do static wallet and recurring payment so recurring payment is also really good because right now we can run subscriptions so subscription based services with crypto and static wallet is also pretty good because what is a static wallet as i said whenever i work with someone so let's say i work with a person x person x what i want to do is a pretty cool thing which is i want to create a wallet that can be used multiple times once again invoice is only used once recurring payment is a little bit different but if you want to work with a person so let's say you're doing lessons like lessons in music or lessons in crypto programming whatever and you want to get paid for each lesson what you can do is create a static wallet and uh, let's select the currency for example matic let's select a network which is going to be polygon of course we're not going to use ethereum because of their fees and create a payment now we have our crypto wallet if i open the link let me open the link right here what i can see is that we have a crypto wallet we just accept transactions so if i send a transaction to this crypto wallet let's actually check it and imagine you work with five clients at the same time you can create static wallets for each client and then you're going to know all the statistics all the things and uh, you can get paid in a very cool way and yeah i think cryptomos is just one of the best platforms to work with crypto payments so here's our transaction id and um, i think we already have the money oh, okay so the balance was updated and now i have two dollars and 54 cents in my account so basically that is uh, cryptomos it's one of the best platforms to get paid in crypto and if you want more tutorials which um, only talk about the code so there is a lot of uh, things i can cover inside of their api then you can just uh, write it down in the comments and now i'm gonna make more tutorials on that uh, platform once again you have lots of things p2p business wallets personal wallets automatic conversions once again oh by the way matic converted to ezt once again link is in the description code is in the description go to cryptomos and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching and bye bye